In this series, we are going to do um, ADO in code. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a database. Then we are going to create a uh, simple Microsoft Visual Basic application that accesses that data using a class. And then we are going to add, edit, and delete information. So in our first video here, we are going to create the database. I'm going to open up Microsoft Access and create myself a blank database. I'm going to do so on my desktop and I'll call it Calls. And create. I want to go to my design view, so I'll save this as TBL Contacts. In here I've got an ID field as an auto number and my primary key, that's good. So unique ID for contact. Next will be last name. It'll be a text field. We'll give it 30 characters to work with. Last name of contact. First name, 30 characters. First name of contact. Create a telephone field. For that, we are going to make it um, 10 characters in length. And we'll do email. For this, we'll give it a little bit longer. We'll give it 50 characters in length. And that'll be enough for our demonstration to keep things simple. I'll go to the data view. It's going to ask me to save. Yes. And I'm going to add in some fictitious contacts. Um, so Smith, Andrew, give them um, 313-555-1212, Andrew.Smith at anyemail.com. We'll add um, Miller, Sally, 810-555-1212. Um, S. Miller at some email .com. Thompson Jane eight one oh five 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 one two one zero um, Jane at email address dot com and we'll create one more Doe John, and that'll be at 248-555-1010, John Doe at some email .com. Okay, so we have our information within our database. I'm going to close our database file, and that concludes creating a database for our ADO encode.